Hi, this is Christian from Point Smart Home. I'm just going to do a video on how to use the audio aspect of Loxon. So hopefully you can make the most of your audio server. So I'm going to start with the how you can get how you can navigate from from different locations in the app. So the first one is in, on the central tab. Audio Central, you can very quickly see all the zones that are part of your project or property. So in this particular um, house, which is our show space, the Smart 27 in York, we have five zones. We've got bathroom, kitchen, living room and the two bedrooms. Um, you can press play to start playing whatever was played last uh, or you can pause it. Um, if you select by clicking on it once you can also turn the volume up and down and play uh, and pause and if you were to select multiple rooms you could press play multi for, for multiple zones um, if you click on let's say the bathroom and click more you're able to navigate then to the actual player the player screen now another way rooms navigate to the bathroom and then you can go to a music zone from there. Third way, categories, audio, and then again, if we were going back to the bathroom, we could we can select the bathroom that way. So that's your navigation. Um, next thing to do is probably start from the list on the left hand side. So you'll see um, my list might be slightly different to you how you'd see it on the app on an iPhone or a, an Android phone because um, this particular device doesn't have the ability to do announcements. So you'll also see there's an announcement button, which I can briefly talk about later, although I can't physically show you because I'm using a, a Mac to actually demonstrate this. Um, settings is probably the first place to, to go. Settings is where we can alter the volume. Uh, we can EQ, so more bass, treble, um, mid to the, to the sound of the, the zones. Um, and then you've got your audio server um, settings for Spotify. So if you want to add Spotify, you click on here. You can see I've got some accounts added already. If you have got SoundSuite, then you can add a SoundSuite account uh, and they will appear on the left um, of your, your sort of column on the player where you can also see there's library there. Um, libraries where you can add music from your SD card on the audio server or the USB on it. So the audio server is the purple unit in your enclosure. And on the top of it, it has a SD card that's always in there. And that will have up to whatever the SD card is in it. Usually it's about 32 gigabytes. And the, S, uh, the USB slot can take uh, either memory sticks or you can put like hard drives up to four terabytes with your mp3s and, and, and wav files and of such as such to view to then access from here if you've got um, a, a network server you can put in the ip address and the path of that uh, and pull your music through that way as well um, if you're on a pc you can load up the network browser so you load up like your explorer for files network uh, forward slash forward slash and the ip address of the audio server which you can find in the about audio server ip addresses here um, you can sometimes on a pc i believe on the latest windows like the mac um, navigate as you can see i've got a window here you would see i will be on um, network so i click on network his network and then I can see my audio server terribly nicely named um, you can click on that library and you would drop your mp3s in here or your web files uh, and then they would appear um, they would appear in your library you can see those are the three files that were there and they would appear here Spotify, if you have Spotify connected like I do, you can see your popular playlists, the new releases, a bit like if you're in the app. And um, you can also see your favorite playlists up here. 
um, you can do more you can add some more from here um, it's fairly self-explanatory from using it if you're used to using the Spotify app it kind of gives you a similar user experience although a little cut down um, you can search for things so you could either search for um, you know if, you, if I wanted to look for BBC radio um, you would find that it would then search through on Spotify or your own library um, or the internet radio one thing you'll notice is that the BBC won't be found on the internet radio because the BBC is not is not an available um, channels on any of radio stations. If you want the BBC, you can add your own radio stations like I've done here. Click Add. And you need to get the streaming URL. Um, feel free to to ask me what those are, um, and I can I can get those for you, or I can add them for any of our clients. Um, if you click on your playlists, it loads your Spotify playlist. It would also be any other streaming services you add playlists. Start is where you can see your favourites for this zone, so in the kitchen. If you click more, you're able to navigate your favourites by clicking on settings, which is the top right. You can see the ID of these, so if you need to um, create any rules from the auto pilot designer you can you can do that um, you might need to make reference to what ID the um, favorites are this um, green button works a bit like the it's the same as the lighting um, buttons in the in the lighting aspect tiles where if you unclick it if you double tap the up button on your switch it won't be included in scrolling through your favorites so it does sort of explain that up here so on the switch you've got an up and down button the up button if you double tick it double click it double tap shall i say um it will basically toggle between those those two favorites if you have three favorites it will toggle between three if you uncheck that go back in there it won't it'll just it'll only go bbc if i did that for example you can create new favorites by clicking create you could for example go into net radio search local radio stations uh, add um brass band and that then it will be added to your favorites uh, and then when you go back you may need to navigate out of the actual zone to go back in for to see that to come in yeah uh, that will pull through and that's now a favourite of, of that zone. Um, okay, I'm, I think we're covering most of the stuff in here. Most of it's hopefully self-explanatory, you know, local radio. Again, you can find a radio station, uh, absolute radio. You can see what's playing down here. You can press pause and you can turn the volume up and down. The two squares here are if you want to create a group. So at the moment playing absolute radio, we could select multiple groups. We can click done. Um, that will then create a new group. Uh, and I can then press play on these and that absolute radio will then play in the kitchen, bathroom and living room. And you have separate volumes for each one of those zones. Edit group, dissolve group to get rid of that. Um, if I just quickly navigate back to settings, um, just talking about the groups, you in the volume, um, your default volume for this particular group would be 25. You probably noticed they're all 25. You can change that um, in here. If you tick the default volume variable, then it'll always default to whatever was last. So the personal preference to how you set those. Text to speech is in here. So the text to speech announcements, the volume that they're on, alarm clock, doorbell if you have an intercom, uh, and alarms for your intruder alarm things, which we tend to have a lot higher because that's kind of the purpose of it. Um, local input as well is on uh, the physical audio server itself it's a three and a half mil mini jack you can plug an ipod into it anything with a that would output from an auxiliary from a tv for example 
Um, if it was a telly, then you might want to label that as TV. And you might even want to change the icon, as you've been doing here. Um, I think that's got that aspect covered. So, um, other things that we could do with the audio server might be um, you might want to create some rules. Um, I want just out of interest while I'm here, I want to turn this off. While you're in the, I call these tiles, these tiles, the audio tile, you can dub, treat these like a switch. You can either turn the volume up or down, but if you were to double click, it will actually turn it off. So you don't actually need to navigate in to the tile, to the player to actually do so, to turn it off, just like if you were at the switch. Um, if we go to the home screen, um, here in the top left, you have a pin, automatic designer. Now in here we can create rules, which mainly tend to be for lighting and other things, but we are more than capable of adding a rule um, that could be inclusive of audio. Um, so it could be at 239, I'm just gonna grab a quick time, add an action, um, function by category, audio, and you could start playing um, kitchen speaker and you could it might not be playing you might do text to speech so you might at one o'clock every day um, want to put an announcement to um, remember to take your medicine blah 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 or whatever it is that you want to do um, you that would be for a group actually this would be for play the message on just that room you can set the volume you could play music you could play a favorite um which would be based oh it's on your favorite so you don't need the id you can select those um and that will automate that based on your your rule once you'd created something so i'm going to do play music if the press the plus button click on that way and then you'd just um create a name play music would be what that was called and then it will appear in um, your list here and if you want to run the rule make sure it's green or you can deactivate it uh, and and use it as and when as as when required i'm just going to delete that if you want to delete it go back into it right at the bottom if you scroll down delete the automatic rule and it will disappear so uh, I think that pretty much covers the majority of the things for the audio server. Um, I may do a more technical video later, um, but it, on the whole, this will get you going. Um, settings um, is the only thing I haven't discussed here. So if you navigate to a player on the left, there's the cog. Um, if you don't, for example, have the line in selected here, you won't see it on this menu so now i can see the line in um it, not many people not many of our clients tend to have the line in activated anyway so it's only if you have used that feature that you require that